In Afghanistan, a cave named Companions of the Cave has been discovered, which has attracted people's attention. And I want to explain to you about the truth of this cave. Many years ago, the ancient monuments of the place known as Companions of the Cave in Kaisar district of Faryab province were looted, and the skeletons of seven bodies in that cave are still disintegrated. Companions of the Cave, 1400 years old, is located in the newly established district of the former Chehal Gezi district of Kaisar district, 90 kilometers west of Maimane city, where the bodies of seven men, the skeleton of a greyhound, a deer and a deer exist, but due to past insecurity. The skeletons of animals are taken, and the skeletons of humans fall apart. The companions of the cave in Kaisar district are not compared to the companions of the cave mentioned in the Quran in terms of sanctity, but in terms of history and civilization, it is not less than that, it is more than 1400 years old. Companions of the Cave, which is located in the city of Ephesus, Turkey, is a natural cave in which there are seven corpses with a dog, but the cave of the Companions of Kaisar Cave was artificial. In these seven corpses, including a mummified shepherd, a dog, a deer, and a baboon, were vandalized and destroyed in the last 20 to 30 years, and a pile of bones remained. The bodies that are in the companions of the cave of Kaiser Cave were people who suffered an incident 1400 years ago that the rulers of that time embalmed them, and this cave was called Ziarat Kwaja Azizan until 121 years ago. The discussion of mummification of corpses 1400 years ago has a high historical value in itself, which shows that there was civilization, medicine, and the city in that era as well. During the time of Amir Abdul Rahman Khan, a delegation was appointed from Kabul to study and investigate the Cave of the Companions of the Kaisar Cave, which reports that the Cave of the Companions of the Cave is not related to the story mentioned in the Holy Quran. The pilgrimage of Companions of the Cave is more than 1400 years old. Before the revolution of 1978, many people from different provinces and abroad came to that area. And once Muhammad Zahir Shah also came to this area, Inside the cave were the bodies of seven men, and outside there were a deer, a deer and a hunting dog. The companions of the cave shrine was built 1100 years ago during the reign of Sultan Sanjar, the ruler of the Seljuks, who was based in the area of Kaisar's shrine, but the robbers took it with them. In the Holy Quran, there is a big chapter about the story of companions of the cave, but it is not known to whom and when the bodies in the companions of the cave in Kaisar district belong to. In Christianity, the story is told that during the persecutions of Decius, Roman Emperor, around 250 AD, seven young men were accused of following Christianity. They were given some time to renounce their faith, but they refused to bow down to Roman idols. Instead, they preferred to give their worldly possessions to the poor and go to a mountain cave to pray, and they fell asleep there. Seeing that their attitude towards idolatry had not improved, the emperor ordered that the mouth of the cave be sealed. Decius died in 251, and many years passed during which Christianity rose from persecution to the state religion of the Roman Empire. Later, usually the reign of Theodosius II, 408-450, in AD 447, the landowner decided to open the sealed opening of the cave, thinking of using it as a cattle pen. Use. He opened the door and saw the companions of the cave there. They woke up and thought they had only slept for a day. One of them was sent to Ephesus to buy food and told him to be careful. After entering the city, this person was surprised to see buildings with crosses because the city had become Christian, unlike when they had not fallen asleep. The townspeople in turn were surprised to see a man trying to spend old coins from the reign of Decius. The bishop was summoned to interview the companions of the cave. The companions of the cave told him the story of their miracle, and they died praising God. According to speculation, archaeologists have attributed several caves to the cave companions, none of which have been proven as the original cave. According to the first text that deals with the companions of the cave and tells their story in the city of Ephesus, the first possibility is a Christian crypt there, which has attracted a lot of attention. Near Mount Pion in Ephesus, 
near the city of Seljuk in Turkey, the site of a cave and the remains of a ruined synagogue were excavated between 1926 and 1928. This excavation revealed several hundred graves from the 5th and 6th centuries. Inscriptions related to the Seven Sleepers were found on walls and graves. This cave is still shown to tourists. Some archaeologists have considered the location of the Ishab Kaf cave between the two villages of Rakim and Abu Aland, located seven kilometers from Amman, the capital of Jordan, while others have considered it to be in Damascus, the capital of Syria. The story has historical and religious value and shows how stories and myths change over time and are interpreted for different reasons. Also, it shows that these types of myths and stories have a deep impact on the culture and history of societies and are studied by historians and archaeologists. Thank you for watching. 